Hi, my name is Catherine Hayhoe, and I am honored to serve as a member of the Global Advisory Board for the Environmental Resilience Institute at Indiana University. As a climate scientist, I know that climate change is already affecting us here and now. As the US military calls it, it is a threat multiplier. It is affecting our food, our water, our infrastructure, our economy, even our health. There is no part of our life that is not impacted by climate change today, and it is what stands between us and a better future. But all too often, we still see it as a global issue or a future issue or a distant issue, one that doesn't matter to my life here and now. And that's why so many people suffer from psychological distance when it comes to climate change. We see this even right here in Indiana. This map is from the Yale Program on Climate Communication. And they ask people a series of questions, beginning with, do you think global warming is happening? If more than 50% of people in a given county answered yes, the county is orange, and the more people answered yes, the darker orange it is. So you can see Monroe County, where Indiana University is, just down there below to the left of Indianapolis. So most people agree it's real, and in fact, 70% of people are already worried about climate change across the United States. And then when you ask them, will it affect plants and animals, People say yes. Where's the psychological distance there in terms of relevance, non-human species? Do you think it will affect future generations? People say yes, people in the future, not now. And then when you say, will it affect people in developing countries, people who live over there, not here, again, people say yes. But then the researchers said, will it affect you? And here's how people responded. Even in Monroe County, it is not orange. In fact, Indianapolis is the only area that is, and that's just barely. People don't understand how climate change matters to us here and now. So that is why it's so important when we talk about it, when we engage on this issue, to make it about what's happening here, not over there, what's happening now, not in the future, and how these changes are affecting us in ways that are relevant to the places we love the things that we love, and the people we love. We scientists are effective messengers, but even more effective are people we know, people who we share things with, like we live in the same town or city or county or state. We know what it was like last time there was a heat wave, a drought, a flood, a storm. We can explain how it affected us and our families and our homes, but how it's also part of a bigger picture. And that's why we need to be building resilience to the impacts of climate change that are already here today, as well as preparing for a better future together. And that's exactly what ERI does. Working with partners across the Midwest, ERI is accelerating the transition to a sustainable and a climate-friendly future. It's also training the next generation of climate leaders through research, education, and community partnerships. The Resilience Cohort is one of these programs. It connects local governments to the tools, the training, and the resources that they need to reduce their emissions and to prepare for a more climate resilient future. And then there's the McKinney Climate Fellows, an opportunity to work with undergraduate and graduate students to build the next set of future climate leaders. I encourage you to take a look at ERI's transformative work, integrating research, education, and community engagement across Indiana for the same goal that we all share a better future for all of us.